Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button, ding the bell next door if you want to get notifications of future videos. Thumbs up, likes are always appreciated, and any questions or comments, please leave them down below. So this is a second take. I was halfway through and Karma decided to jump into my lap and draw blood and then knock a lamp off the desk and a whole, it, it was just, <laughs> I had to start over. We're starting over. So, um, this is kind of a collective haul from World Market, eBay, Etsy, Amazon, um, Walmart, and if I find something else, I'll let you know. <laughs> uh, I guess we're going to start off with this because it's just a techie item. Um, during the Black Friday, uh, they had some Echo Dots on a really good price. I think I paid like $20 for this one. And it's a white with the pretty like pink, pinky purple um, side to it. So I got that. Then... Um, these, I think I told you already, these are the replacement cables for my Vixia camcorder. And so this should allow me to set up and give y'all a whole new view um, on the videos. I'll be honest, I'm not going to start it probably till the end of January because I'm going to have my son do some stuff to the computer and he works too, so it'll be based on when he's available. So there's that. Uh, the next couple of items are going to be a mix between Etsy and Amazon. So, and I honestly, I can't remember which is from where because my leg is still hurting from her claws. She decided not, um, to not remain in the room because I kind of fussed at her. <laughs> So this first one is, uh, this one is called Quick Recovery, and this is Mud Pie. He's not feeling so great, and uh, his little friends made him some cards, and he's got his little mouse baby tablets over here, and a little thimble with a flower. Super adorable. This one is called Bell Swinging, kind of self-explanatory. And Muzzy and Amanda. And I've mentioned to some of y'all um, who haven't been following House Mouse for years are familiar with them from Tuesday morning. Um, the ones that come through Tuesday morning aren't like the normal ones because they always, the usual ones you buy out on the market, they always tell you which mice are in the image. And that's what I was talking about in another video. So you can see that right there. This next one is called Stringing Berries. And I do believe I have this in a cling, but I really wanted it in the block. And uh, uh, Mud Pie and Amanda. So there's that one. And this one is Puddle Jumpers. And I believe I have this one in a cling as well. And just so y'all know, I have no intention of getting rid of, the, rid of the clings. I just, when I can find them in a block, I always get them in a block. Um, that's just, that's just me. <laughs> but this is Maxwell Muzzy and Mud Pie. And they're just hopping around in the water in some galoshes. Then this one is called Cat Tracking. This is Mud Pie, Muzzy, and Maxwell. And it looks like they're tracking some cat tracks, but I believe this is Maxwell. It's either Maxwell or Mud Pie that's always in trouble or doing naughty things. And he's standing on a little, it says, um, ink kit, and he's got a stamp. So he went there and he stamped the kitty track. So bad, bad boy. This is Strawberry Treat, and this is Maxwell, Amanda, Monica, and Mud Pie. And Amanda, she's the little baby. She's the babiest of the mice, and uh, they're just nomming down on some strawberries in a patch. Look very happy and full. Little fat tummies. 
And then the last house mouse, this one is Tweet Treat. And this is Friend is always refers to another animal in the image. And Mud Pie, Maxwell, and Muzzy. And what I think is funny about this one is, you see, they've got their mouth mouths open and their eyes closed, but he's got his covered and pointing because he doesn't want to eat the bug that the bird's going to give him. I just think that's fun. That's, that's hilarious. Okay. Next, um, these are some items from World Market. They had, uh, I believe it was their, all their wrapping items were 40% off I think they were either 25 or 40% off I honestly I can't remember I want to say it was 40 but uh, they had this uh, pack of gift bags and I just really love these cute fox some woodland critters and then the critters on the Christmas tree and I just I thought those were beautiful this next one um, if my friend P is watching, she knows what's up with these. Um, she loves sloths. So all is calm. They're just slothing around on their branches. Got a Santa, a reindeer, and I guess he's just trying to keep warm. And then eat, sleep, and be merry. So I thought those were too darn adorable. There's that. This was an item that I found at Tuesday morning and somehow didn't make it into any of the hauls. But this is uh, from Artsy. And it is a stamp and die set. And it's nautical. So uh, the adventure begins. Let's sail away. Let your dream set sail. And then it's got some coordinates there. Got a mariner's compass, your helm, your anchor, and a little sailboat, and some waves, and then some coordinating dies. So there's that. Then from Walmart. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with these. I am going to go back and see if they still have them. Um, the display said they were like $7.98. And I bit the bullet. But when I got to the register, they rang up for $5.98. But I had already sat in line for like 45 minutes. So I wasn't going back for more. But the, the display... I would talk and then these literally moved to the sound of my voice. I played music. It They actually moved to the sound and the beat of the song. Um, it's 16 feet, 50 colored lights. Um, they are battery operated and I got two. So tomorrow I think I'm going to go back and see if they have any more. And if they do, I'm probably going to pick up another two or three sets. Um, I don't know what projects I'm going to use them for yet, but... I thought that was really fun. So, so yeah. There are those. Um, now, these aren't... Oh, this is also Amazon. And I am going to do a unboxing, review, and swatching of the palette in a different video. Oh, darn it. In another video. Um, I've been wanting to try the Van Gogh um, palette for a while. Uh, Royal Talons Van Gogh. These are supposed to be a fairly nice quality watercolor. Um, this is in the muted colors. I really liked. Um, I, I want to say I think I saw these. I think I saw them on Christina Werner's channel. I think. Honestly, I can't remember. And um, I really liked the swatch that she did. So I went and I ordered it. It's a nice little travel palette. Um, they're wrapped. They tell you their opacity, their light fastness. Um, does it give you... 
Yes, it gives you the pigments that make up um, the colors. So, um, and it comes with a travel um, brush. I am not going to pull it out uh, because it's a pain to put back. So I don't know if I'll actually use it. You have six wells to mix colors in. And um, I really like the weight of the palette. It's nice and sturdy. And um, yeah, so there's that. And I think this was like 20 $25, I think. I think. Honestly, I can't remember. Um, I've had this for a little while. And then the events of the past month, I just ignored it. So there's that. These next two items aren't anything I bought. Um, I had mentioned a couple videos back about... Um, it's called Elfster. And... My sister set it up for our family. Basically, it's kind of like a secret Santa. Everybody in the group gets Elfster, does a draw, and decides who gets what person. And then each individual creates a wish list. And you can choose um, a budget. And so we had like a $20 budget. And whoever got me, I know they went over the budget. And I'm not complaining. Um... But these are some items that were on my wish list. And I still don't know who my Elfster was. So I'm going to have to go on there and try and figure out who it was. But um, I was really excited to get this. Um, it is the Jane Davenport Fabulous Figures book. And um, this was one of my Elfster gifts. And she goes into, you know, showing you how to, um, you know, draw the faces, um, doing the figures. So I'm really looking forward to um, using this book and seeing if I can improve my drawing because it's not that great. And this, I am, this is like from my childhood. I am so excited about this. Um, some of y'all might remember uh, in my art class in elementary school, my art teacher, we actually made our own scratch pads, but Arteza sells them. And I was, I put this on my wish list and so I was really excited to get it. But if those of you who don't know, what it, it basically the sheets are black. You get these scratch sticks and you, when you scratch away the top, the color's in the back. So it's like a rainbow image. Now, when I was in elementary, like I said, we painted the back and then we covered it over with, I believe, black crayon and then scratched it off. Um, I can't remember the whole detail, but... Um, I'm, I can't wait to play with this. I'm so excited. It's not even funny. I'm going to use it sparingly. I will probably order some more on my own just because it's fun. <laughs> but I'm sure some of y'all remember making these as kids. And um, I knew Arteza had it because, you know, I collaborate with them. And I've been holding off putting this on my wish list with them so we'll see. So there's that. And then the last thing, um, it was from World Market. Oh, Karma's back. Let's see if she causes any more trouble or draws any more blood. Just means I need to trim her nails again. This cat is so darn cute. He's just sitting there looking up, looking all sweet. I kind of think it's a Karma. She's just, it's just not a um torty like she is and it's a piggy bank um but it's just gonna go sit up somewhere and look adorable in the craft room so there is that um this is a short video i will be doing a tuesday morning haul for you guys tomorrow and i will probably be filming my hero arts subscription box it's late so you can't get it anymore. Um, but I've been meaning to share it. So I'll be sharing that with you guys tomorrow. Well, filming it tomorrow. And you guys will be seeing it, I believe, on Monday. Anyway, 
Uh, I hope you guys have a good night. Again, sorry this video is so late. I've just, you know, I'm just recouping over the past couple weeks. Just tired and yeah. So that's that. Hope you guys have a great night. Hope you have a fabulous Sunday. We are going to see the Star Wars movie tomorrow. And it's a date day for the hubby and I. And then we're going to go have lunch. Don't know where. Haven't decided yet. But anyway, Lun Linner in a movie. Linner. Yeah, we'll call it Linner. But all right. You guys have a great night. Love you guys to pieces. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.